Hello. Um, so, I just want to show um, some updates I'm doing on Gpanel. Uh, well, first of all, we got some stuff here. This is just like a test program. It's just a like a like a um, what do you call it? It's just like a demo kind of. It's got a circle. It's got a circle um, that goes on the mouse, and I've also got a square that I can. Oh no! Uh oh, that's that's Half Life. Sorry. Personnel. Half Life. That's just opened. But um, anyway, um, we've got a square that I can move with the arrow with the W A S D arrow keys, and I also got a circle that moves on the mouse. Um, I can click. I can click, and it will change the color of the circle. And you, I can press the middle mouse button that changes to yellow, the right mouse button that changes to red, green is the left. These are all things that I've, uh, these layer are like button in, um, inputs that I implemented into Gpanel. But I think that the most important thing that I'm wanting to show in this video is, um, well, it's the um, the FPS counter up here. So. I'm kind of, I'm pretty lazy, so I didn't really feel like, I didn't really go through the effort of trying to make this go to a real number. It's, it's just a jumbled mess right now, but basically, right now, um, the more, like, the, the, uh, the longer it is, that means the longer it's taking for it to do what it should. Um, now, that is, um, caused well it the reason it's doing that is because it's of the fucking windows drawing function so uh, it, the windows um stretch di bits function it's actually really slow apparently so like if i if i comment this out and i do the same thing it will like it, it's see it's not as long anymore even though we're doing the same thing, it's it's um, a smaller number, less digits. That means that it's ta it's taking less time to do it without the stretched di, uh, di bits function. So clearly, the Windows stretched di bits function isn't uh, sufficient for what we want to do. So I think I'm probably gonna look into some uh, OpenGL implementation. That will definitely be good. Uh, <clears throat> lots of people use OpenGL. People have used OpenGL for years. Like, people have used OpenGL since I've, like, I think, since I was born, actually. So, like, it's a f pretty good, pretty damn good graphics. Um, uh, it's free, too. I'm pretty sure it's free. Yeah, so it's pretty good graphics um, drawer. So I think I'm gonna look into that. But yeah, that's just, that's basically all I wanted to show. Um, yeah, that's it. Bye. Uh, okay, this is uh, after I just recorded that. Um, I noticed here's a um, I noticed that there's a lot more visual. There's a much more visual way to see the difference like there's a visual way to see how badly the stretch di bits function um, uh, performs so basically here we see it's all laggy and everything moves slow but the moment I um, shrink the window down everything moves fast all of a sudden and that's I think that's because the stretch di bits function um, it's just like it it's that's what's slowing it down the whole thing it's that's what's slowing the whole thing down so like all right so um like if we have it here see that everything's fast and it works fine but if i do this now it's slow again um now this shouldn't be the case because we're still we still have the exact same resolution whenever we reset size so as like as the stated in, in the title we're just stretching the bits across the window to make it easier but for some reason windows just craps out whenever it's too big so 
I think yeah, if we're gonna if we want this um, program to to be like usable in the future, I think I'm gonna have to get into some OpenGL learning. Um, but I think that'll be a good. Um, that's, it, that's I think that's fine because OpenGL is great and it'll be a good. Um, it'll be good uh, resource to add to my tool belt, I guess. So um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated if you're interested. And yeah, that's it. Goodbye.